In today's video, I'm going to take this mini PC and turn it into a home theater PC. I'm going to be installing LibreLX, which is basically standalone Kodi for your computer. So whenever I turn on this PC, it's just going to boot right into Kodi, not Windows or Linux, just pure Kodi. So yes, you can install Kodi on other devices like a Fire TV stick or, you know, another Android TV box you might have. So some people might ask, why bother doing this? Well, I think it's a great way to repurpose an older PC. I actually did this a couple of years ago, but I wanted to take a look at LibreLX again because now with Windows 10 end of life that has come and gone, there are a bunch of PCs that just might be lying around and could become e-waste. If you are not familiar with Kodi, it's basically an open source media center application that serves as a central hub for all your media, so your movies and TV shows. But it's also got a ton of add-ons that will let you watch free TV and stream movies as well. Uh, this mini PC that I'm going to be using is the HP Elite Desk mini PC. It's got an i5-7500 and 8 gigs of RAM. It used to be my Plex server and ran well for many years. But I now have a NAS for my Plex server, so I don't use this anymore at all. Uh, you can install LibreLX on any Windows PC, actually but a mini PC will fit nicely into a home entertainment center. So I'm going to create a bootable USB drive with LibreLX on it, and you can run LibreLX from the USB, or you can install it on the PC's main drive. That's what I'm going to be doing. So here I am on the LibreLX website, and here you can get all the latest information about any updates that they have done. Uh, I'm going to just head over to the download section. And as you can see, they have their own installer to flash the USB. Now, you could probably use Belena Etcher or Rufus if you want, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use the LibreLX USB creator that they have. And I'm obviously going to be using the Windows option. I actually forgot that you could do this on Mac too if you want. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and download this and let it download. There you go. It's right there on the top right. So I'm just going to run this. And this shouldn't take too long. All right, now I have it open, and uh, under select version here, see it already says Raspberry Pi 2 and 3, but obviously I want to click the Windows option. So there's, uh, yeah, there it is, generic AMD slash Intel. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. There we go, right there. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and select the download button. So this is going to download the, uh, the image. And I'm just going to choose my downloads folder. And then we're just going to want to download. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, the image is now downloaded, as you can see. Now I'm just going to double check and make sure my USB stick is um, selected. And then I'm going to hit right. And I do want to override it, so I'm just going to hit yes. Okay, so now the image is flashed to the USB drive. So now I'm going to head over to the mini PC to install this. And inside the mini PC, I do have a two and a half inch SSD that I will be installing LibreLX on. And on the back of the mini PC, you'll see I have that USB stick uh, plugged in in the back. And I also have a wireless keyboard attached to the PC as well. I'm going to go ahead and power this on. And then I'm going to hit F9 until I get into the boot menu. Now, to get into the boot menu, it's different on other PCs. So you're just going to have to look that up. But in the boot menu, I'm going to select the USB stick and boot from there. All right, now you just have to wait. This should probably take around uh, 20 to 30 seconds. And there we got the LibreLX logo. 
And now it's going to give you a few options, but all I want to do is install LibreLX onto the main drive. So I'm just going to select that first option. All right, this is going to show you a list of your hard drives, but I only have one here, so I'm going to click that one. It's going to make sure you, you, know, you want to override the hard drive. So I'm going to click yes. And then it's going to ask you again just to double make sure that you're going to erase everything on that hard drive. So I hit yes, and then it's going to install it. It shouldn't really take too long. And when it's done, it's going to ask you to remove the installation media. So I'm going to remove that USB drive in the back. And now from here, I'm just going to select uh, reboot. And I'm just going to show you guys in real time how long it takes to actually uh, do the first boot. And it shouldn't really take too long at all. All right, that's a good sign. All right, there we go. We are in Libre Elect now. And then you could just, uh, you know, click through this welcome to LibreLX section. I would definitely make sure you set up SambaShare so you can easily add videos from your PC to Kodi. Now let's find the system information settings so we could just make sure everything looks good. All right, there it is on the top right. And there's all our information right there. And, you know, this mini PC will probably run Kodi faster than a Fire Stick, which is another reason why you might want to consider doing this. So you can get add-ons from the official Kodi repository. However, the server was down when I tried to download it for some reason. Um, but, however, there are other repositories you can use. So I downloaded one and just wanted to download a different one just to test some add-ons while I was here. All right, so here's the video add-on section, and I got some downloaded. I'm just going to try out the Pluto TV app. Now, uh, this is the same content that you're going to get on the Pluto TV Fire Stick app or the Roku app. So uh, it's pretty cool to get some free live TV here. All right, so I'm going to choose the classic, uh, classic TV comedy section. And it looks like we got that old show Green Acres on. All right, as you can see, it worked. I'm just putting this black box here and muting the uh, the sound because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but it works perfectly, works well. And if you have an external hard drive with movies, TV shows, or home videos, you could just plug that hard drive into the PC and play them in Kodi or LibreLX, that is. Or you can just drag some videos from your PC to LibreLX from your, you know, from your main PC. Now you see I have two, uh, two windows here open. I'm just going to drop and drag or drag and drop a couple of videos from my main computer onto LibreLX. You just want to make sure you're dropping the, uh, the video files into the video folder in LibreLX. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and go to the video section. And I'm just going to go to videos right there. And those are the two videos I just drag and dropped from my PC. So I'm just going to play one right now. Today's video we're checking out is the So again, I just think this is another way to repurpose an older PC if you have just one, you know, lying around. If you still use Kodi, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.